Okay, so here's the thing. I'm watching a movie one day <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> it's uh it's an American movie. It's it's a global movie, it's a Hollywood movie, you know, mm-hmm. as big as they come. So my mm-hmm. wife and I are watching this movie. And we get to a scene where it's like a boardroom, it's like a you know, <laughs> some tactical boardroom, and so there are all these actors, and all of a sudden I stop the movie and I I rewind it. <laughs> so I rewound the movie and I watched again, <laughs> and then I stopped it and I rewound it. Then I paused it. And then my wife says, Why? I mean, what is so special about this scene that you're pausing? I'm like, ah, look now. Does that guy not look like J1? <laughs> And she goes, it looks like I'm like it's J1. So the arguments are it's not J1, you know, J1. I said, you know what? There is nothing Google not cannot you. solve. <laughs> so I Googled J1 movie. And it comes out you are in Army of Thieves. Yes, sir. So so first of all, my question is how? <laughs> how? How 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 do so, you go from Kenny's music and this year, which is a which is big by the way, but but it's a world away. How do you how do you go from that to a Hollywood movie? Um so <laughs> so you know when I say I don't put out a lot of stuff that is actually one thing I, I didn't because it got so you know to me too much that I don't I don't put it too you know, a lot of things out there so shout out to Tundi Ed not shout out to Ari Song we're the first people to like you know put it out there in the news you know so I, I shot my own part in we shot in Switzerland and Prague. You know, Prague is my city. Everybody knows that. So, it was, so how did the movie happen? I mean, you just um, you just couldn't have been strolling <laughs> on the streets of Lagos so, and then they just called you up. You know, so these guys that you know, I'm always in Prague. They know okay. I'm always in Czech Republic. Like before now, I used to go to Czech like three times a year. You know, like three times a year. I, yo, I, I, me, I'm, I can just wake up this morning. I'm missing my son. I'm getting a ticket today. I'm leaving. So, and then they, you know, they reach out to me, and I say, okay, I'm interested. I actually didn't just act in that movie. I actually used to still work behind the scene for that movie, and you know, I might be. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm not going to let this question because I'm trying to look. I like, I like, I like templates. I, I like things that can be replicated. I like how a younger person will look at you and what you do and say if I if I do that and do that I might not get the same exact result true that but but I can come close so when I'm saying how I, I just want to know is there is there a replicable path to that kind of thing happening for anybody so that's what I'm asking how did it happen um, for you is this because is this because you were just going to Prague no you you know, Prague? first of all you know you know I've been acting for a minute and just acting doing some little acting in Nigeria okay I actually I do write stories as well movie story actually a couple of stories okay. actually I have like two script script that I just bought that I'm you know planning to shoot once I get back to Nigeria so I've been doing that for a minute you know so I think they find out that you know oh he act too you just don't sing you can act you can do that you know and that's how they reached so they reached out to me but the thing is I'm this person that I always believe there's nothing I cannot do when it comes to entertainment I'm, I don't let people tell me what to do I just believe in myself and I know the only person that can stop me is me. So, why can't I? That is an Hollywood movie that was number one in over 100 countries. Yeah. I was in Istanbul at the time and somebody be like, that is you? Like, instead of Turkish people would be like, yeah, that's me. It was number one in Turkey for the, you know. But it's just... But trust me, that's one of the things I did that I, I, I didn't put out there. I didn't even the news. It was only to me that posted it and a couple of people. So that's where I'm going next with that. I, I yeah. get the impression you didn't really blow that up. You were you were quiet yeah, about that. Why just, yeah. why would you be that? Yeah, I know I messed up for that part. Why? I mean, <laughs> why would you appear in a holiday? So so this is the thing. Because I But you know the truth is I didn't know. Trust me, yeah. It was after I did that movie that I actually Googled about it and I realized that was not even the first one. You know, there was one army of, you know, that's like a... Yeah, I think there know, was the army of the dead or something. Army of the dead. Yeah, before it. You understand? So, it was later I realized it. So, ooh, this is big. And oh, you didn't charge them money. <laughs> you didn't charge them better <laughs> money. They good money, actually. Yeah, okay, so... They yeah, good least, money. It was, yeah. it, was, it was really good money. You yeah. Know? So, well, I didn't know it was that big. 
Then when he came out, ooh, you know, but I mean, if it ain't lossy, you know me, ha. Where we are going, Stifa? Yeah, because I get the impression in these days of social media where people celebrate things that are nothing. This is something, mm, and I feel now like, our people don't like to celebrate something. Oh yeah, because you know, I was reading, because yeah. I was reading some. So I was reading. I was on a blog where that news when it came out was put out, and somebody said I, I couldn't believe I was reading this. I I so <laughs> somebody said well, he was in the movie mm. in a non-speaking part. Mm. So he was a uh, wakapas. Why you not I, trying? I'm, I'm not sure mm. uh, if if it were me, I'm not sure that is something to celebrate. And, and so I'm thinking that how how much of an imbecile? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just these people. I mean, are we are we living with animals now? You understand? <laughs> it's just these people. You can't. Sometimes people say things, and I'd be like, wow, how how does this person think? Does this person think he's human? Does it do? You, because there's some things some people will say and I'll be like, ah, it's like Joe Mew. Ah, it's on enter me, enter me. But you know what? Mm, just chill. Forget it. There are these people. They are depressed. They are bitter people. They are broke. They are Have you ever considered turning off the comments on your page or something? Sometimes I did. Sometimes I just do that. But, you know, but my, as I'm talking to you as of today, I've blocked over 700 people on Twitter. I can open my phone. So that you see, I better give my phone. No, no, no need. I, I take your word for it. Because so, once you, before you write and finish, psh, you are blocked. Before you type that, in, once I see it, before you, before you finish, you are uh, get go go eat. Bah, you are blocked. I don't because things get to me. Yeah, I know. So before I've blocked people. I don't play with my blog. That is one of the best things this social media people has done, both on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter is more. Ah, woman shall won't block me. Because why? Like, come on, man. Sometimes I can't just, you know, stop talking about David. I don't when I see some negative things about him, I say, like, this is you don't know him. David is probably the coolest human being ever. So each time I tweet anything about him, these other people from those other side. They'll come for me. Some will be like, hey, this verse you are looking for. You say you go see get time for this in your life. So and I'll be like, only if you know that I'm not saying good things about David to get a verse. See, when David came out newly, I was probably one of the few people he was talking to. He called me, invite me to go to gym with him. And that is how much I'll be like, that's about 2011, 10. So once I took anything positive about David, they, so I'll just be blocking. Uh, we just so this be- is why I'm mad at you, right? Mm. For this ho- whole army of thieves thing. Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> nobody should ever look at you or should ever tweet or type anything about you or post anything about you, even remotely suggesting that you're looking for something or, or you're looking for a hand a handout or you're looking for a hand up or a leg up from anybody. You are pet. I don't care if you were in the movie <laughs> and you just you just appeared for two seconds. I know. You were in a Hollywood movie. I know. Why did you not blow this <laughs> shit up? I I didn't do that. I know. So I, you have I'm one sure. of the biggest songs out there because because we think of this year and we think people who don't think very well think it's uh, an old song. I feel the Canadian. And it's a perennial song, song. Yeah. and then you are one of the few people who's appeared in the Hollywood movie ever. Not. Uh, Hollywood movie. Hollywood movie ever. Over 100 countries was number one. Over and you didn't blow that thing I up? I did. I know, I know. Okay, so let's assume mm. that. <laughs> let's assume that went. 